Hello and welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming at you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Today I'm going to be looking at this, the Silver Screen 50th Anniversary TARDIS collection, which houses 11 CDs of original music from Doctor Who. Now when I ordered this, it was a one-off limited edition and it retailed for £135 plus £10 postage. And let's start with the box itself. Now, personally, I like it, but I know there are some people out there that say it doesn't look right and it's all out of proportion. But I don't think Silver Screen were going for an exact replica of the TARDIS when they built this. It's simply something nice to house the CDs inside. So I have no problem with the way this box looks. In fact, I think it's really nice. It's really heavy for a start and it feels really chunky and solid. There's a switch on the back. And if I just remove this sleeve and open the door, you'll hear that familiar sound of the TARDIS and it also features a blue flashing light on top. If I had one complaint about the box, it's that they've used stickers for the windows and police box signs rather than painting them on, so they could get damaged or come off easily over time. But apart from that, I think it looks pretty good. And so to the contents of the box itself. So when you open the doors, you get these 11 CDs housed in these DVD style digipacks. And they look really great spying on with each individual doctor on them. So let's just take them out. There's also a nice layer of foam inside here just to help protect them when they're inside. The CDs are all held together with this nice little wraparound sleeve, which says 1963 to 2013. And I really like that little design on there. Here is my certificate, which tells me which number box set I've got out of the thousand produced. So mine is number 693. Also included in the set is this, a really nice 52 page color booklet. As well as giving you all the track listings for each CD, the booklet is filled with great photographs of all the doctors. And there's also some really nice artwork in here as well. Uh, let's get to the middle there, Cybermen. This is really nice of all the monsters. There's also a really good little piece in the beginning written by Mark Ayres uh, where he tells you a little bit about the history of the music and sound effects in Doctor Who uh, and how the set was all brought together and remastered. So this is a really nice little booklet to go with the set. And so onto the discs themselves and disc one focuses on the first Doctor era of course. Nice silhouette of William Hartnell on the front there. These are the stories that it takes music from and there's 56 tracks on disc one so pause if you want to see the stories there from. And when you take the sleeve off you get this gorgeous artwork. I really really like that. I think it looks great. And I have to say the Doctor Who theme on this sounds absolutely incredible. They've done an amazing job remastering it. It's never sounded better. And when you open it up you get the discs themselves which have a nice little design on them. So disc two and the second Doctor, nice silhouette of Pat. Again, I'll turn it round, pause if you want to see the stories the music is taken from. It's quite experimental, the music I would say from the second Doctor era. Um, and once again, we get some really nice artwork for the CD. And so onto disc three, the third Doctor, nice silhouette of John Pertwee there. There's no mistaking that nose. Here are the stories that the music is taken from. Uh, there's 36 tracks on disc three. And I'll just show you the glorious artwork that we get. I think it's fair to say that the John Pertwee era features some rather experimental music, uh, sometimes quite odd, hard to distinguish between music and sound effect, but we do also get a new version of the theme tune. Okay, disc four, the fourth Doctor, silhouette of Tom there, Davros and Lala. Here are the stories it takes tracks from. There's 37 tracks on CD4. Uh, a highlight for me is the music from Legopolis. I've always loved it. I find it's rather funky for Doctor Who, quite 70s. Once again, we get some glorious artwork. And of course, we do get another variation on the Doctor Who theme. Okay, so disc five, the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison. Just turn it around so you can see there's 22 tracks on disc five taken from these stories. Highlights for me would be the music from Warriors of the Deep. And uh, I also really like the music from the five Doctors that's on here as well. Once again, brilliant artwork. Disc six, the sixth Doctor, Colin Baker. 
as colourful as ever. These are the stores we get music from, only 16 tracks on disc 6. Um, I do actually quite like the music from The Twin Dilemma and Trial of a Time Lord and once again it's got some great artwork. I absolutely love the transparent Dalek. Disc 7, the 7th Doctor, Sylvester McCoy. I have to admit I really like a lot of the music from his era. We get 22 tracks from these stories, pause if you want to see. Highlights for me, I really like the music from Paradise Towers as well as The Curse of Fenric and The Great Show in the Galaxy. There's some really great stuff on here I think. Disc 8 is probably my favourite in the whole set. It's the music from the TV movie starring Paul McGann. Um, 34 glorious tracks, and as far as I know, they haven't been officially released altogether before, so this is a real highlight from the set for me. Disc 9 brings us into a new era of the show with Christopher Eccleston, and I really like a lot of Murray Gold's music from Series 9. There's 36 tracks on this disc, featuring some bonus tracks as well. Particular highlights for me on this one is the Doctor's theme, which is absolutely beautiful, Rose's theme, and the very poignant Father's Day. Disc 10, and we get 30 tracks from David Tennant's era of the show. Murray Gold really ramps up the volume with the Tennant era, and there is a lot of good stuff on here, I have to say. Obviously, the brilliant Doomsday, as well as the end of time music, which of course was very sad. I don't want to go! And so finally, disc 11, it's the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, and Murray Gold is still very much firing on all cylinders, there's some really great bits of music on this disc, 29 tracks all together, and there's some brilliant stuff like I Am The Doctor from the 11th Hour, which I know did get overused, but still sounds great, Vincent and the Doctor, The Name of the Doctor, some absolutely awesome stuff on the last disc in the set. BBC Radiophonic Workshop archivist Mark Ayres spent over a year researching, compiling, editing and mastering this set and it's fascinating listening to the evolution of music from Doctor Who spanning 50 years all beautifully presented in this box set. And for those of you that would like to know the full track listings for each disc I will put a link in the description. Now I'd love to be able to play you some of the music contained within this set, but obviously for copyright reasons I can't. But the chances are if you're watching this you're a Dot2 fan and already have a very good idea of what it's like. As I said this is a limited edition so it is no longer available, but it does pop up on sites like eBay from time to time, however it does often sell for quite a high price. If you don't want to spend loads of money buying the TARDIS box set, you can get this 4 CD set which basically features highlights from it and has all the best tracks from each Doctor's era. This is a great set, it normally retails for around £15 so it's a really good price and I would honestly say it's a must have for any Doctor Who fan. So overall, what do I think of this set? Well, to be honest with you, I absolutely love it. Despite the slightly odd shaped TARDIS box, I think the contents within it is fantastic. I love the packaging. The music on the disc itself is brilliant. It's a real treasure trove of Doctor Who music from over 50 years. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please check out thegeeksandbag.com for more news and bits and bobs from me. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, so say hello on there. As well as that, I also do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary Cole, the big blue box podcast, so give that a listen. And until the next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye!